Hey everybody, Mr. Barry here. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to evaluate from a graph a piecewise function. Um, so what I have here is a, a few things. Uh, the first thing is uh, a couple things to remember here. Function notation is f of x. Uh, the x value is usually inside the parentheses and f of x is equal to the y value. So whatever's on the other side of the equal sign would be our y value. Uh, so we have our graph here. And you can see it's a piecewise function. There's three pieces that are involved there. We have some things that are included and excluded. We'll get to those in a second. Um, the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to come over here and say we're going to use the piecewise function to evaluate. So we're looking specifically here at what's going on. Uh, we have f of 4 is equal to f of 0, f of negative 2, and f of 1. So we have four different problems we're going to take a look at here try to find them on this graph. So f of 4 uh, means that since that number 4 is in the parentheses, that's our x value. So we want to go to the location on the graph where our x values are 4. Um, so starting here at the origin, we know that our x values move left and right. Uh, so the 4 would be all the way over here. And what we need to do now from this spot is take a look above and below and see where, uh, if any place, is there a spot where our piecewise function uh, has part of the graph on there. Um, and if you look above, obviously right here would be a location where we have a part of our graph. That location would be the point four comma one. And it should make sense that our X value is four, which is right there. Our Y value is one. So when it comes to this question right here, F4, uh, that would be equal to the number 1. Handwriting is not the greatest over here. That's okay. Let's talk about the next one. Uh, we have F of 0 is equal to, and uh, we've got to figure out there what that would be. Again, 0 is the number inside the X value. 0 is our domain. We're going to go to the location on the graph where our X value is 0. And it uh, shouldn't be too difficult here. It's right there. We're going to look at that spot and we're going to look above it and below it and see where, if any place, uh, there is a part of the graph for this piecewise function. And you should notice here, kind of like the last problem, we have a location right there on the graph with that line. And that would be the point 0, comma 1, which again makes sense because the x value is 0. That's why it says f of 0. What's our y value? The y value is 1. So again, the answer is going to be 1. This won't always happen where we have so many 1s as an answer, but in this case it is. Let's go to the next one where we're looking at the function at negative 2. Again, in the parentheses is the number negative 2. Uh, so we want to go ahead to the location where x is equal to negative 2. So go back to the origin, negative 1, negative 2. I want to look up, I want to look down, and see if there's any locations where it's involved the graph. And there's actually two spots that you might kind of consider here. We're looking down up here, and right there you can see that there's a closed circle. That colored in dot right there is certainly at the x value negative 2. And this open dot right here, not colored in, it's open, uh, is also at the x value negative 2. But we know that if it's an open dot that it's excluded, which means it does not count. Uh, we do not involve it in this process because it's an open circle. It's excluded. Don't worry about it. Don't consider it. However, this spot up here, yes, that is certainly a part of the function. The dot's colored in. Um, so we want to go ahead and think about this. Our x value is negative 2. We already knew that. What's the y value there? The y value would be negative 1. There the y value is right there, negative 1. So when it comes to f of negative 2, it's equal to negative 1. Last one here, same situation. We have the function of 1. We look up, we look down. We have two dots. One of them is colored in. That's the one that counts for us here. Our x value is 1. Our y value is 1 also. 